What we have here is the Hudson Valley Fisheries cold smoked steelhead trout. The sight of fish on a plane might be worrying for some, especially on a flight that's going to last 19 hours. Just layering this up nicely. But not for Anthony McNeil. I'm okay with it because the product's super fresh, it's super tasty. A chef with a background in hospitality, McNeil is now the food and beverage director for Singapore Airlines, where he oversees the creation of the 280 unique dishes the airline offers each month. So that's our first class salad. But how does this smoked trout salad get to this tray table exactly? McNeil is here to explain the logistics behind flying this fish and how he uses it to create a recipe made for some of the world's longest flights. Singapore Airlines operates four ultra-long-haul routes, including two 19-hour trips from JFK or Newark to Singapore. Getting food prepared for these long journeys is no small feat. From Newark to Singapore, uh, we feature around 450, 460 different meal combinations from the meals which are supplied on board. So whether it be the starter, the three, four choices that you have for the, for the main course option, Desserts, dinner, cheese. So this is Singapore Airlines first class caviar service. Sourcing the ingredients for these options is a balance of both timing and taste. This salad tells that story. First, timing. To see why McNeil calls this steelhead trout fresh, it's best to look at a map. This is John F. Kennedy Airport. This is Newark. Both have daily Singapore Airlines flights that carry trout raised here at Hudson Valley Fisheries. The fish farm is located about 130 miles from each airport. Some catering partners or suppliers may fly the steelhead trout from Norway or from Chile. So you're talking three and a half thousand miles to 5,000 miles from these points of destination into the country. McNeil estimates that journey could add days to the fish's total transit time, whereas the trout from the Hudson Valley doesn't have to fly to fly. And again, very simply, we're just gonna layer that into the salad. The trout used in this dish, which McNeil is assembling in a test kitchen, goes from tank to plane in under a week. It's first harvested at the farm and sent to a smokehouse nearby. After that, it's sliced and packaged, which is when the clock for Singapore Airlines really begins. It's sent off to our catering partners in JFK and Newark. So within receipt of the goods into the catering facility, generally you would see that flying on board the aircraft within 24, 36 hours of that product arriving. Uh, from Hudson Valley Fisheries. Topping this off with a spicy watercress. The greens used in this salad are on the plate in even less time, around 24 hours from when they're harvested. That's because they come from Aero Farms, an indoor vertical farm in Newark, less than five miles from the airport. We're really maximizing the freshness and the closeness of the supply to the finished plate. So I'm just gonna finish that off around and over the salad. But getting the ingredients to the plane is only part of the process. Next is taste. We're just gonna take the trout and we're just going to pull it and so that it flakes. Creating a travel-ready recipe is different from building a restaurant-ready meal because it's being served in a pressurized cabin, which changes how passengers taste and feel when they eat. Take the smoked steelhead, for example. Singapore Airlines worked with Hudson Valley Fisheries to get the flavor right for flight. When we initially reviewed the steelhead trout, the feedback that we gave the team was that it was slightly uh, too salty for our needs. Salt is something airlines tend to load up on to give food more flavor because travelers' taste buds dull in the arid dry plain. But too much salt can also lead to dehydration, making for an uncomfortable trip. So the flavor comes from elsewhere. This is the dressing. So this is a tomato vinaigrette with a Ruz Hellnut spice. So the tomato is giving us some umami flavor and then the Russell Newt will give us a little bit of heat. Of course, McNeil isn't the one assembling travelers' meals. Once the recipes are set, they're given to airport catering companies to prepare. They're detailed line by line. Each ingredient's clearly identified with a weight requirement. We have a photograph, uh, depending on the cabin class that you're flying, for the caterers to work to, in terms of you know, where to put what ingredients and sources where. Meals can be dished six to eight hours ahead of the flight after which they are held in chilling fridges before being put on carts and lifted onto the plane. From there, the crew is given plating instructions. Uh, this is on a first class plate. The order of the ingredients, radicchio, beetroot leaves, trout, radishes, and their placement on the plate are all predetermined. Here we have the roasted beetroot puree. Just add that in at the end of the dish. 
properly plated, the meal is ready to eat. And that chain that started in the Hudson Valley is finally finished, somewhere at 30,000 feet.